That's me. <laughs> I think that's the only You're time I've ever lady. been described as a lady. Ladylike? Yes. You're incredibly... When she walks around the house and she doesn't know I'm looking, she walks on her tippy toes. And I think that's from being a little girl and dreaming about being a princess in those fancy little like snow white high heels it's mostly just from wearing heels in my life but oh. yeah, yeah. do you remember when we were both at uh um and what's it that, begins what's that thing Jesus, where they roll Doug. out the new tv shows in new york yes, up I front. Is, up front. is this gonna be you in a freaking andy warhol wig all night uh, oh that was oh, yeah. that, no, that was explain, a different thing that explain that bizarre, asshole that was too bizarre i've had to hear about words. this for nine years yeah yeah because because very few people you, know you about you that you wouldn't talk it was like some bizarre 70s night themed party yeah that was in toronto and, and you and i are friends and but benson rolls up in like, like an andy warhol wig i don't know why he won't talk he's just like giggling later that same night i ended up in a strip club with uh, david boreanaz because he was he was just started playing angel on buffy yeah. around that time yeah Did that was my wig? favorite thing about working at the wb Did is i got inside on all buffy shit like i got to see every episode like you know seconds after it was completed and i got to meet everybody and that, that was like that was the best part of that job well the be- really i love that show i love i love buffy the vampire oh, really? that seems like a gag that you're you were starting. i know right it sounds like it sounds sarcastic. like something doug benson would say on stage oh, God. <laughs> about like, let me tell you something. The best thing ever. I liked getting. That's not all the most the interesting thing about show. me. No, I liked all of it. I liked all the Buffy gossip. I liked all the seventh head in the gossip. That was oh, all. That was, heaven, that was yeah. fantastic. At any rate, you wore a wig and you would not. Well, yeah, I was I was dressed up as Andy Warhol because it was a seventies party. But you also wouldn't talk. Well, because that's the character. He doesn't really yeah, say much I, to anybody. I, I yes, know, he does. But, but, but it was very strange. I wish you had more ideas. It was an unusual way to go about communicating with like a friend. And you right. Well, it was a costume party. Next to me because we were friends, but you wouldn't talk because you were. Andy Warhol. Yeah, but people were digging it. I was in a. <laughs> I was in a. Uh, I was. I was, I was more like a walk around character that was hired oh, oh, than, like than a, a guest. You're yeah. like a walkabout. But uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the reason I had the get up and the attitude is because I I was a bunch of friends of mine put together a musical about uh, about the uh, you know Andy Warhol disco songs for Drella, uh, Louis Studio, John Kale. Studio Fifty Four. Your buddies. Okay. Yeah, and I I played. It was really funny. I played. Who did you play? I played Andy Valerie Warhol. Valerie Solanis. It's weird. The <laughs> no, way I played Andrew Warhol and uh, Pop Tompkins was Truman Capote and Karen Kilgariff was Liza Minnelli. Like all my That's friends were amazing. in it, and it was a musical. So we all had numbers, and we all danced around. Tenacious D was in it. Uh, Kyle and and, Who and did Jack they were in it. They were like the troubadours that sort of introduced the play with a song That's at the beginning. Fantastic. Yes, and they, and they you know snort coke and dance around and That's and uh, oh, and where was it. this put up? This was put up at that uh, that place they used to do on cab, uh, Luna Park. In oh, LA. I used to yeah. love that room. And then it ran for a while on weekends at a, at the Hudson Theater. We did it for like a month on uh, midnights on Friday and Saturday. I you took that. your coast to coast. Moon dog. Zappa was in it. I She's remember a great that, gal. Yeah. What about Weasel? She's he wasn't very around. Sweet. But I've been. I've, That's disrespectful. I've done some time with the Zappas. I've, I'm with, quite uh, proud to uh, say so. I've, I've met and hung out with all of them except for the one that had died prior to me meeting all of them. Joe. No, Frank. Frank. Oh, the big one. <laughs> the the spawn, main, the big one. The, the one who spawned the, the top one. Zappa. The top za- the capo to capo. Yeah, yeah. But they were. They, I liked them all. They were very H-Z-I-C. nice. Z I C. If you were going to name your life, if your life was a show like Hoarders, and it's just a television show about you all and the time, the title. What would you title it? It would be called How to Succeed Without Really Succeeding. This has been more stories. That's been Doug Benson. Nikki Cox, I'm Jay Moore. Put your name on it. Find more funny shit like this at smodcast.com.